happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. Courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Ali LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for James Harden. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. So here's the Clippers starting group. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Terrence Mann is out there with James Harden. And it's Zubats in its center, filling out the middle. And for New Orleans, the Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. And it's Valanchunas in at the five. And this late in the season, Grant, would you say the adage, nobody is 100% rings true? 100%. I mean, at least that was the case for me. <laughs> There's some truth in that saying, though, for everyone. Most guys might not be 100% until they get a full off-season arrest. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Get off the wall. Leonard looking over the floor. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. And you hope this early foul doesn't dissuade his aggressiveness. Here's Ingram. It's rebounded by George. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. They just weren't careful with the rock. The passing was loose. The ball handling was lackluster. That's not how you win in this league. Well, their defense wasn't exactly solid in that game so if they could make up for mistakes by causing some turnovers it might have helped they didn't even get those and so it's new orleans with it the clippers getting their last shot to go valentunas good it's so hard to move a mountain trust me major damage on the boards being done by valentunas down low here's harden and then harden with the jam wow I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Here's Williamson. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. That one falls. Yet nothing the defense is going to do there. Zion locked in. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. McCollum against Harden. Zubac with a screen on McCullum. Harden scanning the floor. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on C.J. McCullum. And right now, if you're the defense, you've got to be careful. Harden excels at finding ways to get to the free throw line. good from Harden. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. And that's good as he hits both shots. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Such a good player on the in-between game, weaving behind bodies to find some space. And C.J. cashes in. Leonard, yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Leonard's got his second basket. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. McCullum outside. Let's it go from deep. No good. The Clippers have gone three of three so far from the floor. To the middle. Kicks it to George. From downtown. And the three-pointer goes. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Pass to Valanchunas. 
Valanchunas with a screen on George. Back to Valanchunas. Never shy about getting physical. Valanchunas still gets the shot in the air. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Pelicans. Jonas Valanchunas. Two shots. And he drops the first. And Brent, for the Pelicans, it seems like it's a matter of time before Willie Green's group puts it all together. Uh, they certainly have the pieces, and on paper, B.A., they are very, very scary. It's a young and talented core, and there's no reason that these guys should not be moving up in the Western Conference standings. He makes one or two that time. There are ways to get a guy like Jonas Valanciunas to be aggressive in the game. You gotta feed the big man, so get him the ball earlier, get it to him often. Back to Leonard. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. George has got three assists now in this one. Look, they're not gonna play a perfect game, but so far they are five of five, and the D has to be concerned. And that one's good, Ingram. Great pass there from Herbert Jones. When someone's open, he'll find them. The Clippers in the lead. Over Williamson. Leonard can't get it to go. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. It's stolen by Leonard. And it's the Clippers on the break. Floats one up, and he lays it in. Wow, Leonard. Leonard's got eight points. And a little BUMP. Leonard says, that doesn't bother me whatsoever. So poised. New Orleans calls timeout. For New Orleans. Go to the stats for a moment and show you this season's steals leaders. Number five is Kawhi Leonard. And he's such a plus defensively for his team. Those steal numbers scare opponents and lead to fast break buckets. Williamson passes to McCollum. Just five to shoot. Alan Chunas with a screen on Harden. There's McCollum with the three. And James Harden pulls it down. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. McCollum finds Williamson. Now here's Ingram. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. He's got five. Punishing inside Valanciunas, getting room to do damage. George outside. to Leonard. The three. Valanchunas with a rebound. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Williamson with it. He's picked up by Zubats. Valanchunas with a screen on Harden. McCullum pass to Valanchunas. Well, Valanchunas is truly a mountain of a man, so good luck to anybody trying to stop him. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Los Angeles? Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. And that one misses.
and he's good on the second. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Outside Harden. Here's Leonard. Rebounded by New Orleans. Last time they met in Los Angeles where they beat the Clippers. I love the defensive pressure they created in their last meeting. Forcing turnovers and keeping the offense off kilter. The turnover margin was well within their favor and you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the biggest factor in that win. Williamson finds McCullum. Shoots over George. And the 17 footer goes down. McCollum's got his second bucket of the night. Just a smooth, polished scorer. McCollum only scratching the surface of his immense potential. And you look at what CJ McCollum brings to the table a skilled marksman and a calming presence in the locker room. Well, what do you expect from the president of the Players Association? He's got to be regal, he's got to be refined, and he's super polished on and off the field. That's a nice opportunity for Zubats, and he cashes in. New Orleans time calls timeout. Time out. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Here's Hawkins, still without a bucket. Valanciunas passes to Ingram. Six to shoot. New Orleans needs to hurry, late clock. Valanciunas, good. And here's Harden, he'll bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a three-point game. He drops in the layup off the glass. Harden's got six points. It's impressive how Harden makes room inside. He finds a way to navigate the shots. George against Ingram. Valanchunas with a screen on George. Just five on the clock. And here's Ingram outside, bearing his second of three attempts. They expect Brandon Ingram to give them a constant inside-outside threat. He's got to go ahead from three-point line whenever he wants it. Oh, oh, and the dunk by George! Well, not only looking at Paul George get up, look at the guys on the bench loving it from PG. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Ingram. 20 points for him last game against Cleveland. Pass to Hawkins. Williamson outside. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Mann. Ladid doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Down to five on the shot clock. McCollum finds Ingram. Releases. Rebound by the Clippers. Now here's George. Coming off a 22-point game against Minnesota. Well, what helps that out a lot is he got to the free throw line, which was a real game changer. It slowed down the opposition's momentum and made them play to his team stop. And the Pelicans with possession here. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Here's Ingram. That one goes. Count it. Ingram's got seven points. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Here's Leonard. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. The Pelicans trail. Pass to McCullum. And here's Ingram. George defending. 
outside Ingram. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And looking at Brandon Ingram's game, Brent, a lot of similarities to Kevin Durant. Yeah, most of that B.A. comes with the build-out, right? Just a slender guy who can get the job done offensively. This guy can create problems for defenses, and he can also defend and cover his spot. And he knocks down the first one. Ingram just continuing to impress and taking strides in the right direction. Just a tremendous amount of offensive weaponry. Both good from the line that time. The Clippers in the lead. George outside. High post Plumley. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Larry Nance picks one up. The defender tries to get all ball, but Plumley's size and strength come into play there. Nathan Plumley taking two shots. Free throw misses. So he comes up empty at the line. Yeah, and it's still early, but missing free throws is something to keep an eye on. McCullum on the wing. He's guarded by Highland. Here's Nance. Two minutes remaining. And the first. Oh, that Two doesn't minutes. go on the chance to tie. And so it's Highland with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. George against Ingram. Puts it up from 12. George's shot is off. New Orleans has gone one of four from deep. For three, McCullum. Plumley pulls down the board. McCollum's gone two of five tonight. Leonard passes to George. Out to Powell. The three is up. It's good. Norman Set up beautifully by George. Three. Great job by Norman Powell off the catch. Here's New Orleans now. Trailing by five. Outside Ingram. That's the screen. Puts up a three. And that's good. Ingram for three. Ingram's got 12 points. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now here's George. He has seven. Oh, and that one, good. PG playing behind the pick and roll, able to use his size. A pretty good decision that time with the basketball. Outside Ingram. Oh, got a piece of it. Leonard, right side. Misses from short range. New Orleans has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Here's Hawkins. Now covers. Hawkins, the pass to McCollum. Over Highland. Shot's good by McCollum. Six points for him. Well, he knows how to get the shot off at any time on that pick and roll. Natural instincts taking over, and the experience helping McCollum as well. Here's George. Some solid defense from Ingram. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for Los Angeles. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We'll be right back.
action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers guys. We all know good ball movement is what most coaches harp on. And their passing's been excellent so far. Well, everybody just feeling the energy of the basketball as they moved it around and lots of hands were touching it. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Hal and George are out on the wings. D.J. Tucker is out there with Mason Plumley, And it's Highland in at the point guard position. Marshall passes to McCollum. Nance with a screen on George. Got a piece of it. Powell with a steal. George with it. McCollum covering. Nance against Highland. Pass to Powell. George against McCollum. George's shot is off. New Orleans in the lead. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Here's Marshall. Checked by Tucker. Nance with a screen on Highland. Shot clock at five. Sinks the tray. McCollum's got nine. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. You have to give Paul George a lot of credit. He's willingly accepted a secondary role in the Clippers. He said, quote, Kawhi is the number one. I'm the number two. There is no ego. I'm totally fine with that. I try to compliment him and also take the load off of him. And Brian, when they are both right, there's not a better tandem in the game. Good point. Top tier. Thanks, Alec. Now here's McCollum. He's got nine. Powell pulls it in. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that. It cost you another play. Powell with it. McCollum defends. Pass to Plumley. Outside, Highland to get back on track. Nails it from three. Highland's gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Here's the teardrop, and that's two points on the layup. And the Pelicans lead by three. Showing some strength on that bucket, Murphy getting better at fending off contact. Pilot, the pass to George. Left side, Highland. To the middle. In transition, here they come. Here's Marshall. No good that time. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. And so it's Highland with it. He brings it up for the L.A. Clippers. Next game against the Bulls at United Center. It's the second game of three on the road. And let's take a look now at some numbers for Trey Murphy. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. First one falls. And P.J. Tucker, one of those guys that we talk about as a journeyman throughout his NBA career, but there's no doubt that he's made positive impact and touches wherever it is that he's played. Zubats, he's checked in for the Clippers. James Harden comes in for Highland. Second free throw, no good. New Orleans has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. The pass to Ingram. Nance outside. McCullum against Harden. Top of the key. That one rolls around and rims out. Los Angeles has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Zubats screen from 11 feet away. Count it. Good. Harden's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, just a smart call by Harden. 
using the pick to shake off the defense and get himself a look. George against Ingram. Shoots over George. Pass to Jones. Ingram with the ball. Shoots over George. The shot by Ingram, no good. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Powell outside. Down low. Here's Zubac. And it's slammed in by Zubac. It felt like Powell had the shot, but good job of feeding the open man. New Orleans has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Ingram on the wing. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Ingram's got 14 points. Harden against McCollum. George with it. Nine points in the game. Launches a three. The shot, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Nance, the screen. Here's Ingram. Goes back up. Rebound by the Clippers. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high-percentage shots. Pass to Nance. Outside Ingram. Here's Nance. McCullum outside. Nance with a screen on Harden. There's McCullum with the three. And another three for New Orleans. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter. But now he's hit two threes in the second quarter. And he looks much better. Now here's Powell. He's got five. Harden, the pass to George. Pass to Tucker. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Ingram's got four rebounds now. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting home. Oh, 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 hey! How about that? That's impressive. So pretty when Larry Nance Jr., even at his size, gets a chance to glide. Harden, the pass to Powell. Zubox with a screen on Jones. Back to Harden. The three. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Three. He saw he had an opening, and Harden took it. For New Orleans, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Ingram with the ball. He's picked up by Zubats. Outside Ingram. McCullum against Harden. Poke loose. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Powell. And now we have a chance to check the real stats, real scores from the real NBA and see the teams leading in three-point shooting. The Clippers in second, fifth on the list, the Pelicans. Oh, man, both these teams love the three ball, two of the best at hitting long-range shots. Leonard's checked in for Los Angeles. Mann comes in for Powell. Jones from outside. And the Pelicans get it back. And rejected. Terrific defense from Zubats. His team relies on him to help alter shots. And we have to take another look at that block. And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. The Clippers making a switch here. Powell's checked in. The Clippers on D. Pass to Hawkins. Fires from deep. Outside Jones. Fires the three. That shot, no good. And Harden's got the ball here for Los Angeles. And 
It's Harden again missing. New Orleans has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Here's Marshall. He's scoreless. Pass to Williamson. Now Ingram. The three is up. Finds it again. Six for 12 and remaining assertive. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor if you want to win. They have loads of confidence from three-point land right now. Here's Mann taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. Outside Harden. Six on the shot clock. Ooh, coming through again, shooting five for seven now. Tough bucket by Harden. A creative finisher near the hoop. Now here's Ingram. Defense right on him. Outside Jones. Pass to Ingram. For three. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. They're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. Outside Harden. Leonard with the ball. Marshall's there. Leonard taking him on. Well, the mindset from Kawhi Leonard right there is just making him a monster. On the inside, goes at the defense full head on. Outside Ingram. Goes up from the top of the key. That one rolls around and rims out. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Shoots from the baseline. Hard misses. New Orleans has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Here's Williamson. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. From a physical standpoint, you just can't match up with Williamson's power down low. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Well, whether the defense is inviting these shots or not, they've been great in the mid-range. And so producing from there, that bodes well. And the first one at the line is good. We talk a lot about guys and the obstacles that they overcome. Williamson has faced many setbacks, but still staying committed to the game. Williamson hits them both. The Clippers trail. And here's Harden. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two up to Powell from deep. Five on the clock. The ball's knocked loose. And it's out of bounds to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Four on the clock. And the high post he drills it. Assisted. Powell's got seven he points in the game. Zoom. Oh man, that was tough, but Powell taking pride in making the tough ones. All right, Grant, talking about Avita Zubat, what do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. Now here's Jones. No points yet. Back to Ingram. Launches it. Shot is off. Shooting seven for 15. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting their opponent in early foul trouble. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It'll be on Zion Williamson. Such a versatile guard. James Hardy is a triple-double threat every single night. First free throw is good. Coffee. He's checked in for Powell.
Bennett's tied up with that one. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Outside Ingram. Shot on the wing. And down it goes. Two points. Ingram's got 22 points. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Three-pointer, Harden. Jones grabs the board. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. McCollum finds Jones. Zubats against Valanciunas. Pass to McCollum. Williamson outside. Ingram with the ball. Here's the three. And he can't get that one. Now Leonard. 12 points for him. Great D that time from Williamson. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Pelicans on top, up by two. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. Put your hands together, man, for your Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet and the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. How about we start out with the Western Conference and uh, how those teams are stacking up? You know, for New Orleans, they haven't quite looked like themselves lately. The question is, how do they get back to the top? How do they recapture that magic? I think it starts with raising the intensity level. Become more aggressive, night after night, fight after fight. Aggressive is right. And what about Brandon Ingram, fellas? We've seen some good stuff from him in this game. While he's in the zone shooting it, every time he puts up the three, he believes it's going in. Trust me, that's a great feeling. People ask, what's it like to be in the zone? I don't know. You just feel it. The game just slows down. It's like you can do no wrong. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. This has been one outstanding game from Brandon Ingram. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Zion and Valanciunas in the middle. And it's McCollum at the point guard position. That's the group for Willie Green getting going here in the second half. Two points. That would go. One of the most focused shooters in the game, McCollum really does find ways to score it well. Outside Harden. Up and over McCollum. Harden can't hit. New Orleans in the lead. Jones with the ball. Harden picks him up. Outside Ingram. Pass to Valentunas. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And Valanciunas knows he's going to get hit there. He absorbs the contact and still goes through. Paul George. Second personal foul. First team foul. And Valanchunas no good on that one. They get so much effort and energy from Zubac, especially on the glass break. Well, he's the kind of guy, B.A., I don't think any other opponent wants to face on a given night. A relentless big man that's physical, that plays around the rim, that doesn't mind contact. This guy is willing to sacrifice his body every minute he's on the floor. Here's Ingram following the score by the Clippers. 
past Williamson. Here's Jones. Outside Ingram for three. McCullum. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth assist with that last one. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, the Pelicans have developed a tremendous chemistry. Coach Willie Green said, quote, all of those guys play the game the right way. They want to be unselfish and make sure their teammates are involved. We're really fortunate as a team that our top guys bring that mentality on a nightly basis. Brian? Yeah, chemistry and leadership. They have it. Thanks, Allie. And Ingram has got the ball here for the Pelicans. Leading by five. Pass to Williamson. For three, McCullum. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. They set the pick. George for three. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. Okay. Good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Jones, the pass to McCollum. McCollum draws the double. Jones from outside. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. Leonard against Williamson. Elbow shot. Leonard doesn't hold back. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four of five here shooting. Terrific start. Outside Jones. Pass to Valanchunas. Now Jones from downtown. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. Leonard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Mann. Defended by Jones. Back to Leonard. The fadeaway. Rebounded by New Orleans. Williamson's got four rebounds now. Pass to Ingram. Now here's Valanchunas. McCollum with it. Outside Jones. There's the three. Valanchunas, and they converted last on attempt number three. Valanchunas has got six points in the quarter. And Valanchunas has no problem showing up with that physical force finishing through contact. For three, George. Not going to go that time. For New Orleans, they've gone six for nine in the half. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. And now a ten-point New Orleans lead. And right now, efficient as Brandon Ingram is just torching the defense. Pass to Zubats. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. And a quick look at the 2K leaderboard, showing which teams have really been controlling the glass over the last month. In the third spot, the Pelicans. And last month, this team was active on the glass, really put forth an effort to box out and track down misses. Harden against McCullum. To the inside. Here's Valanciunas. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got four rebounds now. Pass to Mann. This one for three. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Mann's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Court vision on display from Leonard sharing the ball. Big part of this game. McCollum against Harden. Shots good by McCollum. McCollum's got 10 points here in the second half. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Practically a block. <laughs> good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Now here's Valanciunas. Using his post moves to get the two points. Valanchunas has got eight here in this quarter. And I think Valanchunas is Lithuanian for can't miss. I'll have to look that up. George has screened on Jones. Pass to George. Leonard finds some space with nobody on him. He buries that jumper. 
Leonard's got 18 points in the game. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Jones, the pass to McCollum. Outside Jones. Clock at six from 11 feet away. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Leonard's got his fifth rebound in this one. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. Zubat's high post. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Not putting his head down. He continues to produce with the team trailing. Harden against McCollum. From the baseline. That one goes in. McCollum's got 24. Yeah, I wish McCollum would sell microwaves because I'd buy one. That's what he does. He heats up in a hurry. Harden against McCollum. With the floater and the finish inside by Harden. He's got 17. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. McCollum outside. McCollum draws the double inside. Here's Valanciunas. Great D that time from Zubats. Los Angeles has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Leonard. And he gets that one. And it's now only a five-point New Orleans lead. Yeah, Leonard can do this. He can just take over a game offensively. George against Ingram. Williamson. McCullough looking it over. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Williamson's got his third assist of the night. This quarter belongs to him. And that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for New Orleans. What a performance for Beyond the Arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and the willingness to do that has paid off. That's good from Harden. So for the Clippers, Plumlee's checked in for Zubats. Coffee comes in for Paul George. And it's Powell in for man. Harden hits them both. Here's Hawkins. Still no points. Williamson outside. McCullum outside. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Pass to Leonard. Leonard, double team. Here's Coffee. Here's the pick. Nails the jumper. Coffee's got his first two points. New Orleans in the lead. Outside Ingram. Uses the glass on the layup. Brandon Ingram looks light, but don't take him lightly on the offensive end. He'll score. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. One of the stories here, C.J. McCollum. He's getting it done today. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. Highland, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Now here's Leonard. 20 points for him. It's Powell on the wing. Leonard passes to Coffey. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Three points. Coffey's got five. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Here's Williamson. Drops in the layup for two. He's got six. Zion's a big guy. It'll take more than that to deter him from that shot. 
Pilot against McCollum. Pilot looking for an opening. Pass to Plumley. And the layup is good off the glass. Plumley's got his first two points of the night. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half, getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Here's Hawkins. Nance with a screen on Leonard. Hawkins can't get it to go. Los Angeles has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Back to Highland. Leonard on the wing. Coffee on the wing. Fires for three. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Williamson. Plumley against Nance. And here's McCollum. Six to shoot. Here's Hawkins from outside the arc. Plumley pulls down the board. Plumley's got a rebound number five here tonight. Now here's Highland. There's 49 seconds left in the third. From deep. McCollum pulls it in. Well, New Orleans shooting a marvelous 61% thus far in the second half to the middle. It's stolen by Leonard. In transition, here come the Clippers. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. If they keep finding steals like that, they won't be in the hole much longer. Shooting for LA. Bones out of that. At the line for one. We've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Outside Jones. Nance with a screen on Powell. Jones in the post. Working on Powell. Count it. Okay, that's where Jones likes to live, and that's where he's comfortable. He can use that length to his advantage. Here's Leonard. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard. Two shots. Free throw drops for Leonard. No doubt one of the best two-way threats on any NBA floor. Leonard remains hungry to keep adding to his title collection. And Leonard drops them both. One second left. No luck on that one. C.J. McCollum has been leading the charge for New Orleans. Clicking from deep. Four threes made in the quarter. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. 
zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Kyle and George are out on the wings. Mason Plumley out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Highland in at the point. You know, talking about Bones Highland, he's a player who helps provide a jolt to this team, Brent. And Bones is the kind of guy who lives on the edge a little bit. You just got to be careful that he doesn't go overboard. I mean, he does so many things. He does them so quickly. He's just got to slow down at times to make the best play possible. Can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Outside Jones. Outside Ingram. Let's it go from deep. Gets the three ball to go. Ingram's got 30. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Now here's Highland. Back to Tucker. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. On the wing, Jones. Pass to Ingram. There's the triple. And another three for New Orleans. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Outside, Highland. And here's George. Plumley a screen on Ingram. Down low. And there's Plumley on the assist by George. And Paul George, a gifted passer at his size. He could see anywhere on the floor. Ingram against Powell. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 10 points in just the second half. Throughout the second half, they've achieved excellent efficiency on the offensive end. Pass to Plumley. They set a pick. Back to George. Launches a three. Slam dunk by Plumley. Well, Paul George is great at breaking down the defense, and he does it with the pass that time. Outside Ingram. Ingram double teamed. Jones from outside. And another three for New Orleans. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. George passes to Tucker. Can't connect from short range. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Outside Ingram. There's the screen by Marshall. Shot from the top of the key. Three-pointer. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got six assists now in the game. Now here's Highland. Plumley a screen. It's George on the wing. Back to Highland. Five to shoot. Powell for three. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got six rebounds now in the game. To the paint. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Making a bit of a statement. Murphy to the rack. And so it's George with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. A 12-point game. Pass to Plumley. To the wing on the left. 
Comley a screen to the inside. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Out to the right wing. Here's Ingram from the arc. Rebound by the Clippers. Plumlee's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Powell finds Highland, and he banks in the layup. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. New Orleans has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Ingram against George, unloads. The shot by Ingram, no good. The Clippers have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Pass to George. Jacks up a three. Here's Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. That's what most want to see from Plumley. Attack mode. Pound the boards. Have the confidence to finish off those kind of plays. Here's Hawkins. Puts up a three. Drops in the three. And the Pelicans lead by nine. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. The Pelicans have gotten seven of nine from the floor in this fourth. Pass to Ingram. Down low. Right side Jones. Takes the three. Drains the triple. And now it's a 12-point New Orleans lead. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. George outside. Plenty of space. And he gets it to go. And George's guys encourage him to just fire away. They know he's lethal from there. George against Ingram. There's the screen by Marshall. The three. The Pelicans hit again from deep. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Outside, Highland. Pass to George. The three is up. Buries it from three. That's his third three. triple of the night. His second since halftime. Timeout call. Timeout, timeout. The Pelicans. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Both teams will make substitutions. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, well, Willie Green had some advice for the team over that last break. He told his guys to stay after it, to not get complacent and lazy with this lead. He wants them to keep adding to it. We'll see if they're able to do it, guys. Valley, thank you. Ingram with the ball. Picked by Williamson. Baseline jumper. The shot by Ingram, no good. Los Angeles has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. And a slam dunk by Ingram. A really good ball movement on the entire possession. And then CJ gets slick. Harden against McCullum. Leonard on the wing. George outside. Three-pointer. They get the rebound. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Zubats does a great job of sniffing out offensive rebounds and beats his guy to the spot. Alan Chunas with a screen on George. Here's Ingram. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Harden against Valanchunas. Harden misses. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Hawkins. Banked it in off the glass. Hawkins has got five points now in the quarter. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. You know, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. George's shot is good. And George is deadly from deep. That'll give you some longevity in this league. George against Ingram. Pass to Williamson. Here's Hawkins. Ingram on the wing. 4-3. Leonard pulls down the board. 
Los Angeles has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Williams grabs the board. Williamson's got five rebounds tonight. McCollum with a screen on George. The three ball. Hawkins can't get it to go. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive. For Paul George. And George with the jam. Go ahead and lead him, Paul George. Stepping up a huge shot at this moment in the game. Here's Hawkins. McCollum outside from behind the arc. He drops it from range. McCollum's got 33. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Harden with the drive. Rejected by Valanchunas. Great anticipation as Valanchunas got to that ball and just swatted it away. Harden against McCollum. Pass to Hawkins. Back to McCollum. Here's Hawkins. Here's Williamson. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion again to the rack. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. And the Clippers with the ball. Here's George. Harden with it. Takes a three. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. McCullum outside. Hawkins, the pass to Williamson. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Heading play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Timeout called. The Pelicans. At the line for New Orleans. They're ahead by 10. We've got a minute 48 left in the fourth quarter here. Timeout for New Orleans. Checked in for the Pelicans. Flips off the Kappa. That was your Pelicans dance team. First one falls for him. And Valanchunas drops them both. We've got a minute 48 left in the fourth. George against Ingram to halt the run. And George lays it in. George has got 15 points here in the second half. Always a formidable score. George just doing what he does. Williamson with a screen on Harden. Outside Jones. Back to McCollum. They double-team McCollum. Inside. That's good from Jones. And the assist by Williamson. Williamson's got five assists tonight. Harden against McCollum. Here's George. Second shot opportunity. Oh, good work defensively by Ingram. And a chance to add to the lead here. Yeah, B.A., they should really stick with what they've been doing. And there is no way this margin gets closed down. Great execution of a game plan and a nice win here for the Pelicans. Well, they were focused on being productive at the arc tonight. And it ended up paying off big time. Just an overwhelming performance. And tonight's win will give them an even 40 on the year. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Brandon Ingram. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. So it's the Pelicans now. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago from 12 feet. And it's New Orleans with another. Showing us that killer instinct right now. 
No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them, complete control. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. Williamson looking around. And so New Orleans takes this one by a large margin. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Zion, this is a team with some outstanding young players with complementary skills. How do you see yourself fitting in? I think I fit in very well. Um, I think I'm a very versatile player. So you can throw me out there with any group, and I'm going to put up, do something to contribute. Um, and I think we're a very unselfish team, so that plays a big part to it. And any group would be happy to have you. Thanks, Zion. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Brandon Ingram.